Welcome to Movie Caps. Today I will show you a drama, romance, sci-fi film from 2020 titled Little Fish. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Emma sits alone on the beach, crying. A dog comes up to her and she smiles as she pets it. A man, Jude, follows behind the dog. Emma asks him if it's his dog, but he doesn't seem to understand the question. Emma is lying awake in bed with Jude, the dog, Blue, lays on the floor. She has flashbacks of partying with old friends and being in love with Jude. She remembers them kissing and dancing and hanging out with her friends. She decides that she can't afford to let these memories slip away, so she gets out of bed, goes to her desk, and tries to start writing them down. She remembers being at a Halloween party many years ago, with the guy she was talking to at the time, when she got a call from Jude. She went to the balcony to take it, and they both talked about the Halloween parties they were at and how boring they are. Jude invited her to come to his party instead, and she agreed, telling her boyfriend a lie so he wouldn't be suspicious. Emma meets up with Jude at his friend's apartment and goes inside to meet everyone. Jude has a habit of constantly taking pictures. They all decide to go to a club, and after dancing together for a while, Emma and Jude wait in line for the bathroom. Jude asks Emma if he can kiss her, and she says no because she's seeing someone. He asks if she loves the man she's with, and she says no. It's Emma's turn to go to the bathroom, she kisses Jude on the lips, and goes inside. Emma wakes up at her desk, having only written one sentence. Emma remembers how the virus first started, hearing reports of fishermen forgetting how to steer his boat so he jumped overboard and decided to swim back to land. A woman participating in a marathon forgot to stop running. Things became more serious when pilots started forgetting how to fly their planes. The virus is called neuroinflammatory affliction, or NIA. It can affect anyone, and there is no cure. Their friend Ben got sick first, starting to lose his memory very slowly. Jude wakes up and sees that Emma is at her desk and asks her to come back to bed. In the morning, Emma leaves to go to work. She is a vet and takes delivery of lost dogs from the man that usually drives the truck, but he seems to not remember who she is. Jude goes for a walk and runs into an old friend unloading his music equipment from his van. Jude helps him bring everything inside, and learns that his friend is performing a show that night. After helping his friend with his music equipment, Jude shows up late to a photography gig where he was supposed to be taking pictures for a wedding. Emma calls her mother and talks about visiting her soon. Her mother asks how her husband is doing, but forgets Jude's name. Emma is suspicious that she seems to be forgetting a lot of things. Emma and Jude ride on the bus together and she complains to him about having to put down so many dogs recently. She asks Jude if she can start bringing some of them home and he tells her no, that they would never stop taking in dogs if they brought in one. The bus driver stops the bus, gets out, and walks away. Emma and Jude are forced to walk home. They make dinner back at their house, and Jude talks about how sad it is that Emma has had to put down so many dogs recently, and suggests they get a puppy. Emma reminds him that he just told her that they couldn't get any more dogs, but he doesn't remember saying that. When Ben started to lose his memory, he wanted them to help him record all of the songs he had written. When he started forgetting how to play the guitar, they took him to a tattoo shop where he got a tattoo on his forearm of guitar chords. While they were there, Jude and Emma got matching tattoos of a fish on their feet. Emma visits the Nia clinic, where there is a large, irritated crowd outside. She signs Jude up for the chance to participate in a clinical trial for a cure. Emma remembers the second date she ever had with Jude where they talked about their life goals and where they saw themselves in the future. Emma tells him she wants to sleep with him but she hasn't officially ended things with her boyfriend. Emma and Jude move in together and decorate their apartment. She wakes up in the morning to a phone call, she answers it, and talks to a woman from the Nia clinic. Jude has been selected to participate in the trial, and she schedules an appointment for him to come in the next day. Jude sits in the waiting room of the clinic, filling out paperwork. Emma waits outside and runs into an old friend, Sam, who was in a relationship with Ben. They apologize for going so long without seeing each other or talking on the phone, then go their separate ways. Inside, the doctor asks Jude some routine questions and explains the details of the procedure to him. They will be taking a long needle and going through the roof of his mouth and puncturing his brain. Jude doesn't like the sound of this. The doctor sends him home with a packet filled with baseline questions for determining the progress of the NIA and more details about the procedure. Jude tells Emma about the operation and that he doesn't want to do it. It isn't even guaranteed to work. Emma wants him to go through with it. She tells Jude that her mom has also been diagnosed with Nia and that she wants to go visit her but she can't because she's afraid that while she's gone Jude might forget who she is. Emma asks him a series of questions about memories they've made together and Jude is able to recall most of them, 
but can't seem to pin down any details. He doesn't remember their wedding or their first kiss or their first date. Emma reminds him of when they decided to get married. They went to a pet shop and Jude told her that when he's with her, he feels like a fish, because she's the only thing that exists to him in the world at that moment. He asks her to marry her, and because he doesn't have a ring, they buy the fish instead. Emma remembers the night they had to go to Ben and Sam's house because Ben had completely forgotten who Sam was and went after her with a knife. Jude went upstairs to calm Ben down and Emma stayed with Sam in the kitchen. Sam tells her that she doesn't know how much longer she's going to be able to make herself stay with Ben because things will only get worse from here. Jude and Emma take a trip out on a passenger boat to go whale watching. While Jude goes inside to get Emma a drink, he listens to a news report that says the trial run has produced a cure for Nia and because of the high demand, they have stopped taking new patients. Jude brings the drink back up to Emma and a woman on board forgets where she is and who she is with and throws herself into the water. People begin breaking into Nia clinics, desperate to get the cure. A video made by a doctor goes viral of him giving a tutorial of how to do the procedure at home, hundreds of people are admitted to the hospital with failed attempts. Emma wakes up to another phone call from the doctor and she tells Emma that Jude is no longer eligible for the treatment because they found drugs in his system. Emma questions Jude and he assures her he's been clean for years. He admits that he ran into an old friend a while ago and that they may have done some drugs, but he genuinely doesn't remember. Emma finds a photo of herself that Jude has labeled reminding himself that it is a picture of Emma. Jude explains that he doesn't want to forget who she is. They go through the house and label all of the pictures of their friends and family. They take a bath together and Jude examines the fish tattoo on Emma's foot. He is surprised to find that he has a matching one on his. Emma creates a small notebook for Jude to carry around filled with important things he needs to remember like phone numbers, his address, some of his personal information but it doesn't work very well because he is constantly forgetting that he has it. Emma spends a lot of her free time doing research on the brain, as if she might be able to figure out another way to cure Nia. She gets a call from her mother's cell phone, and it is someone at the hospital telling her that her mother has been admitted, that she was lost and doesn't even remember her name, but she is safe now. Jude asks Emma if he will watch the viral video of how to do the procedure and perform it on him. She is hesitant but eventually agrees because they have no other shot at curing him. They go to her office and set up in the medical room. Jude sits in a chair and Emma puts a clamp in his mouth to keep him from shutting it. She watches the video and inserts the needle into the top of Jude's mouth. He passes out from the pain but wakes up a few minutes later on the floor and spits out blood. He's fine but he isn't able to tell if the procedure worked or not. They take a road trip to a cabin out in the woods. Once they get there, Jude reads a note he has prepared telling Emma that the procedure didn't work and that he loves her and appreciates her staying with him through all of this. On the way back, they are stopped at a checkpoint where officers scan their IDs. The officer tells them that in case they get lost, they'll have a better idea of where they might be according to where they were last scanned. At work, Emma works with a new delivery woman and introduces herself. The woman says they've been working together for weeks, and when Emma goes inside and looks at her records, she finds proof that the woman has signed the last few delivery slips. Emma goes back through her important memories and finds that she is misremembering the details. Jude gets ready and Emma asks him where he's going. He reminds her that the night before they had agreed to go on a hike that morning. Emma pretends she remembers and gets ready. Jude takes lots of photos of her out in the woods and they bring Blue along with them. After stopping to take a photo of Emma, Jude returns the camera to her, thinking that she is a stranger who asked him to take a picture of her, and starts to walk away. Emma tries to remind him who she is but he thinks she's a crazy person and says that he's going to go try to get her some help. He leaves her on the beach, crying, and by the time he returns to her, he has forgotten who she is again, and she has forgotten who he is. Blue comes up to her and she pets him, cheering up, and asks Jude if this is his dog. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.